Hi guys, welcome to Revolutionary Motion. I'm Kata. And I'm Clemens. And today we're going to show you a little bit of our practice, show you a little bit of how we do our drills, how we uh, exercise, how our technique looks, what kind of patterns we use in our shots. All right, so I'm gonna talk you guys through what exactly we're doing here and what the purpose is of every single one of these exercises. So as you can see, we're starting by just warming up from the service line, trying to get a little bit of a feel for the shot. Here you can see Kata close up a little bit better. Um, she's just trying to find her groove really and try to make sure that her shots feel right and her movement warms up so her feet get used to the movement from the baseline. Same thing for me, as you can see, I'm a little bit of calmer player. I'm not moving as much as Kata is. For me, it's more about trying to feel the ball a little bit better. Uh, here we're going to the backhand side. Same thing for Kata. She's trying to get her feet moving, trying to get her swing to be complete, even though she keeps her swing a little bit more on the shorter side on the back swing. Um, you can see for me here, I'm trying to warm up a couple of different shots, starting with a slice first trying to find a couple of um, nice slices just to keep my, my rhythm going. Uh, now I'm switching a little bit to the one hand, the back hand, because I sometimes use that for uh, passing shots as well as a shot where I have a little bit more time. Now I'm going back to the two-handed backhand here. You will only see two shots of those though. Um, the next thing is we're trying to warm up our feet a little bit more by playing a quick game, uh, which we're playing up to 11. As you can see, we're starting by it rolling the ball over the net um, and then trying to make the other person move. Volleys are not allowed and we're playing in both service boxes. Now this was a nice uh, starting point. Both of us are moving quite a lot. As you can see, Kata is moving quite a bit better than I am. Uh, I, however, don't have to move as much just because my anticipation, my anticipation at this point seems to be a little bit better. So I'll leave you guys alone with these couple points here because I feel like they're oh, pretty oh, nice to watch. As you can see, we're both pretty out of breath at this point. Oh, that's Our uh, heart rates have probably gone up to around 160, 170. So um, both of us are really struggling with this exercise. And the great thing about this exercise is to make sure that you maintain composure, even though your heart rate is as, up, as high up as I just mentioned. And that's the, the big problem in tennis overall. When you're moving a lot, you tend to tighten up and you tend to lose control over your softer shots so we're trying to really work on that here by um, trying that's to keep the heart rate as low as possible obviously but that's not always possible so in those moments you really have to make sure that you're focusing a lot on trying to keep the control oh. over your shots which in this case I didn't manage to do as you could just see <laughs> So as you can see, I put quite a lot of uh, slice on that shot and that made it very difficult for Kata to reach it uh, just because I had so much backspin on it and that really opened up the court for me then and I was able to win that next point. Same thing here, I'm trying to keep Kata a little bit deeper uh, as soon as she plays a better shot just to make sure that I have some extra time to reach the next one. Same thing here. And now I'm a little bit back in the rally, try to neutralize everything again, and now I'm making her move a little bit more, and that's luckily for me enough to win that point. All right, so that was the ending of the games, uh, of the game, and now we're starting on the baseline, trying to really warm up all our shots, forehands and backhands, a lot of stuff from the center, not so much cross courts at this point and uh, we're just including a couple shots here and there just to show you guys how we're hitting
And as you can see, she's hitting quite hard at this point, trying to really warm up all her shots. And now you can see my forehand here, I obviously have a lot more of a Western grip, uh, almost Hawaiian grip at this point. So that might look mm, less familiar to most of you guys, I assume. Uh, and it's not very common on the pro tour, not very common in, you know, better level players. However, for me it works and I've played like this for quite some time. And you see on the backhand side, I'm mostly using slice just because I feel very comfortable hitting my slices hard. Now we're going over to the volleys here. As you can see, Kata is really trying to put a lot of power into her volleys and moving as well as she can. Uh, and that's very important because if you don't turn sideways enough, it's very difficult to control your volleys when the pace gets higher. And you can hear that she's putting quite a lot of effort into her shots here. So now yes. we're going into the overheads, which she's moving a lot better on uh, than she used to a while back. And that's why her overheads have gotten so much better. And you can see <laughs> a little bit of a slice volley there, just to play around a little bit and keep the fun in the practice. Alright, now we're going over to my volleys here. So I'm trying to do the same thing, move well, try to stay sideways on all the volleys, even if I have to go on a stretch sometimes. And uh, I'm trying to hit the balls quite hard, just to make sure that I regain my, my uh, touch for the ball, even when I'm trying to hit harder. And here I'm trying to go for a quick drop shot with a lot of backspin there, and I'm going over into the overheads trying to get in the right position on every shot, which is not always easy, but the better you manage to move on your overheads and the better the position you're getting into, the easier it is to really control your shots. Wow. A little bit of a trick shot there, trying to, as I said, get some fun going. And now we're playing some points from the baseline here. We're starting to open up the rally with a cross court shot. Um, and then after that, everything is allowed. Anything goes. And here you can see she's making me move quite a lot. I'm trying the same shot that I just did in the overheads, but couldn't just uh, manage to get that ball in in the, in the points, I guess. Here I really opened up the court, tried to pull her off the court with the first shot already in the second shot, then managed to win it. Here you can see I tried to pass her with one hand back end, as I mentioned earlier. I do that from time to time, but only if it's an easier shot. Now I'm getting her to the net with a drop shot, trying to lob. My lob failed a little bit, but I managed to pull it off with a slice after that. Very good. That was a very good shot from Kata there. You can see how she pushed me off the court a lot, even though I gave it a lot of top oh. before. Same thing here. Amazing backhand cross court. Now I'm mostly on the defense, as you can see, but sometimes, like on this one, I'm managing to uh, pull off the passing shot with a slice on the run, which is one of the shots that I really feel comfortable with, but it's not very easy to pull off. Here, I really use the whole court very well, trying to get across the court, um, come to the net and finish off with a drop shot. Another slice passing shot here. So this is the second round of our baseline points as you can very good. see she's Four or five. again dictating with a very flat shot trying to really make me move uh, sticking with that cross court shot until she has an opening for the down the line which she did here now i'm giving it a little bit more top spin so i can see that uh, after giving it that much top spin she struggles a little bit i was able to hit through the ball a little bit more easily and then come to the net and finish it off now we're going over into a couple serves. This is pretty much the last part of our practice session here. Um, we're just warming up the serves, trying to get some good serves going. As you can see, I have a pretty decent kick serve out wide from that side. And I'm finishing off with a, oh, one more kick serve, I guess. And then I'm finishing off, I think, with a flat serve down the tee from the ad side. But again, this is just a, a small part of our serving practice, congrats. just to giving you- Why a congrats? Of, an idea how it works. It's broken? So here you can see the the ball actually ended up breaking on one of my serves, on the last one actually. And uh, it was pretty 
funny to see. Um, here Kata is taking her serves. As you can see, she's obviously serving a little bit softer than me, but she's got good placement on her serve, so that really makes it difficult for many of her opponents when she's play playing her matches. And this is pretty much the end of our practice session. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll make sure to keep you guys flooded with new videos.